hidden to make two heads or two tails or any number of crazy combinations. Ooh, planaria. I love these guys. I will take any opportunity to talk about my favorite type of flatworm. So the original video is talking about a study that found um, altering electromagnetic signals around the regenerating planaria bits would influence the um, production of either heads, tails, etc. So I couldn't find the original source for that, so original video, if you want to toss me that source, I'd love to read it. But I do have a couple sources I found that are kind of contradictory. What I've found is a couple different papers talking about how altering the electromagnetic signals either increased or decreased the efficiency and rate of stem cell differentiation, which is how planaria regenerate their bits, but I couldn't find the source, like, explaining how it altered the, like, differentiation into two heads, two tails, etc. So that's up in the air, but I do believe that this is an actual study done because it sounds very plausible. But for now, I do personally have a theory about how this works. I don't know if I'm right or not, but this is just what I think is happening based on my limited genetic experience. So the Hox gene is the gene that is responsible in early organism development, which actually tells the stem cells in the embryo or in asexual reproducing species like Planaria what to differentiate into. So Hox gene, it does a bunch of things, I don't want to get into it, but it basically says this is going to be head, this is going to be tail, these are going to be legs, these are going to be wings, etc. There has been a bunch of studies that I went over in my genetics class actually, where there has been the hox genes altered in fruit flies in order to grow legs instead of antenna, grow wings instead of legs, etc. It's really weird in those poor flies. So my theory on what is happening is that the different electromagnetic pulses or whatever is altering the Hox gene so it possibly becomes defective and instead of differentiating pro can't speak instead of differentiating properly into head and tail it maybe gets a little bit confused and differentiates into head head or tail tail etc depending on what is already there the environment does affect genetic expression a lot. There's a whole study of epigenetics, which is the study of how your environment affects your gene expression. And so I do believe that this is a plausible study that happened. I just can't find it. So if you got the original source, drop it in my comments, please. But yeah, planaria, I love them. Unfortunately, I don't have my petri dish full of planaria anymore. They did not survive very long.